Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to the channel, Straight Like That, where I'm going to give it to you straight like that. How's everyone doing? Hopefully, everyone is doing good. Staying safe and having a good time while you're doing it. All right, back again today with another reaction video. This time, my reaction video is for Bitter Liv. Liv's life, okay? Child, she titled her video, So Many Changes, and, and ain't made not one change, okay? Before I get into this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel, all right? Let's get into this reaction video. Let's go. Well, let, hold on, hold on, hold on on that. Hold on, hold on. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not going to say that. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because, hold, anyway. Anyway, this is anyway. Now hold on. Because whatever you put forth in this life, um, you know that's you. That's what that's what you're leaving here. That's what you're. That's the impression you leave on people. That's the relationships you have with people. That's um. The relationship you have with yourself, how much you value yourself, you know. Um, it's just good to put yourself first and, uh, you know, really focus on yourself as far as, like, your health and your mental state and just everything. It's important. Um, AA, if you have insurance, you can get it through your insurance, I believe. Um, yeah, and you you take it once a week. Um, <laughs> your boobs get small. <laughs> well, we're going to see, y'all. Where are you trying to go, Kailani? Where are you trying to go, Mama? She wants to get up. How much did I lose so far? You guys will see in my next update. Sorry, You'll see my next update. Okay, shh, She wants a bottle. I'll be right back, y'all. Let me go make her a bottle. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Let's feed this baby. You ready to eat, Mama? Are you ready? What's up? What's it? What does it? I don't know what that I can't believe not one of kid. Mm -mm. Not one of my kids took a pacifier, y'all. Not one of them. She kind of does. Because she always be hungry. This is a big girl right here. This is six to nine months right here, y'all. Okay? She's not even three months yet. She's going to be three months in a couple days. But six to nine month clothing on a two-month-old? Yeah, say, I don't play. I put it away. Olivia, I don't give a damn about this pink, clear-ass baby. The only thing I'm going to give to this baby is her looks are coming in because she was not cute at first. I'm just being honest, and that's my opinion. I wish you would put some headbands or some cute little uh, hats that the little babies be wearing, the little girls be wearing, uh, get her ears pierced uh, because uh, it's, it's giving she looks like a little boy. And clothes-wise... Unless you'd have been to the thrift store to get her some um six to nine months, uh yeah, uh we ain't saying you do no uh sh uh shopping, buying your baby clothes, buying AJ clothes. Uh, we always see you get clothes and makeup and all this and shit. I have not seen you get Kalani no clothes. I never really see Kalani dressed up. Kalani wears the same shit all the time. Even though she's a newborn, she's supposed to be in onesies and things like that because uh, she don't go outside. She a baby introvert. And thanks to you, it's like that. And she is not that big. She got a big ass head and a fat ass face. And I said what I said. Hmm. 
Yeah, no. But like I said, she'll kind of take a pacifier because she just want to suck on something. And she's just like, but once she realized that no milk is coming out, girl, she spits it out and starts screaming. Olivia, why is you sitting up here fucking lying? Ain't nobody never seen you get that baby no pacifier the whole entire time that you sit your ass on our lives, hour and a half lives that you be doing. You either got a titty in that girl mouth or a damn bottle. We ain't never seen you slap a pacifier up in that baby mouth, so stop lying. A greedy ass baby like that that you never give a pacifier to is not finna fuck with no pacifier. Of course they're going to spit it out. Olivia act like this is her first motherfucking baby. Okay. Huh, fatty. Anyway. um, So, I wanted to talk about some other stuff. Uh, okay. um, I don't want to be mean. Okay, I don't want to be mean and I don't want to be disrespectful. Because I don't have to be. Okay, guys, like, I am in a really good place in my life right now, mentally, physically. I'm just super happy, and I'm super at peace with myself and with my situation, with my kids, with my babies, with my mama, with my family, with my man. Like, you know, he's my man, but he's not my man. And this is why people don't like her motherfucking ass. She ain't doing them sitting up on this motherfucker lying through her motherfucking rabbit ass mouth. First of all... Don't nobody give a fuck about what you being at peace with. Yeah, you at peace with them kids coming over more than they used to. But girl, if you could, you can mag you you wish you could magically make their ass disappear. Cause you do not be want to deal with them all them motherfucking kids at once. Livia gets on my nerve. Then you don't sit here and say, "Yo, man, you you in a good place with your man," uh, <laughs> laughing like it's shit funny when you sitting here lying. Girl, you ain't got no motherfucking man. You don't even know who them children daddy is them last two kids you do not know who they daddies is and if you do you finna keep them completely about your life because you don't want that same debacle that happened to your ass with them first three kids uh let's be clear <laughs> but he's still my man <laughs> yeah but he's really not my man but he's my man okay <laughs> Yo, fuck. i don't give a fuck about you <laughs> um I don't know why. I have, like, the biggest crush on my baby daddy. But we're not talking about him. This is not for him. <laughs> Just because it ain't nothing to talk about because it ain't no baby daddy. Yeah, it's somebody that uh procreated that them kids with her ass, but uh, it ain't no baby daddy. And she ain't got no crush on him. That's just the, the, the tactics that she used to, you know, keep luring her little supporters in and, you know, giving them a little content, little bullshit-ass content. And they be believing Olivia, and they run with it. Olivia sits up on, on them lives, in them people's face, and play on their top, and be just be lying. She lies about every goddamn thing. Girl, first of all, your life is in shambles. Girl, you 22000 in a hole with child support. Your life sucks, Olivia. I'm in a good place. I'm in peace with my health. Bitch, take a shot once a motherfucking week. Only been on the shit seven days, and here she is. I'm in peace with my health. And then she's trying to give out, trying to give out all this strong ass energy, like she just doing so well in her life. And over the past few days, what have you seen her do? What have you seen this bitch do besides run a door dash? Run, run door dash for a couple of hours. Girl couldn't even add up how much motherfucking money she had made. Girl, get, get up off this motherfucker. Um, yeah, I'm talking about your daddy. Mm -hmm. Girl, it got to suck to be you. Anyway, um, going through this situation with my kids, I've learned a lot. You know, God has really been teaching me a lot about life and about people and about situations. And going through this situation, my eyes have really opened up. And I'm not saying this to be disrespectful at all. I'm not saying this to throw shade. Everyone thinks I'm trying to throw shade at somebody. Bitch, bye. I don't have to throw shade, okay? It's too sunny over here. There ain't no shade over here, honey, to throw. Girl, stop lying to the motherfucking people. Your eyes ain't open up to nothing. And God ain't showed you nothing. You don't even believe in God. I don't care what nobody say. I ain't trying to be funny about people's religion. Because I feel like this here 
I do understand that breakups, people do get hurt. People feelings get hurt. Emotions be involved and all of this here kind of shit here going on here. But Olivia has is got has an evil spirit. She got ugly ass ways. You sitting up on this motherfucker like you just been rebirthed into something. Olivia, you still mad as fuck because uh, Gerard is over there with that girl taking care of your motherfucking kids. I don't mean to say girl, Nisha. Over there taking care of your children. You hate that. You, instead of being, you know, thankful and blessed that your kids was able to be still living with their father and you didn't lose them to the system. See, you don't think like that. All you think is negative and evilness. And, and to Olivia, get that through her brain and, and get on this internet and put out content about how, you know, she didn't gave up on, you know, being ugly to Gerard and Nisha. I'm not going to never, ever say nothing good about this bitch. Because I feel like you really owe that lady an apology, all the shit you done said about her and taking care of your children. You really do. And you really is a very sad ass bitch. You lonely, you miserable, don't nobody want your ass, and you will never get a man up in the house with you again like Gerard was, paying your bills for you to lay around and do a whole lot of nothing. Olivia is a real sad ass case, and then she sit here with this day bad damn baby sucking on this fucking bottle like somebody want to hit it. Why when you get on your lives, you can't let Stella watch her? They, she keep them any other time. Don't nobody, I don't want to look at this motherfucking baby. Baby, if I could have put a, a shield over her motherfucking ass, I would have. Because I don't feel like looking at this baby because Olivia think that her, AJ and, and this clear pink ass baby right here, she think them kids is perfect. No, they not. AJ over there sitting on slow. And uh, y'all can think whatever y'all want to think. I don't care. You not teaching him nothing. Baby, uh, how doing the food. Baby, let's talk about baby carpet number two. That would be him. So she can miss me with this whole conversation. And now she finna get into this motherfucking back and forth with her and Key Plus 3. The Kennedys or whatever the hell the name of that channel. I don't follow her. I never watched her channel. But I'm finna start looking at her damn channel just to see her ass go in on Olivia. Because the stuff that that lady was saying about Olivia, technically, it was true. She didn't leave out that one lie. Now she might not be the perfect person to be saying shit about nobody because... I didn't heard, you know, a good few stuff about her. Just a little shit about her. Not nothing major. They got a lot of issues going on in their family. But uh far as being a mother, I like I said, I haven't watched her channel. I'm about to go over there and check her out when it comes to her children and see what's the difference between her and Olivia. But Olivia, uh baby, you 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 ain't gonna be able to F with her. Y'all definitely got something in common. <laughs> Y'all know what the common is. But um I have realized that there's a lot of people out here with mommy issues. And we've spoken on this before because this whole thing has been a learning process for me. And while growing up, I heard a lot about daddy issues because me, myself, I had some daddy issues. No, you ain't had no daddy issues. You probably don't know who your fucking daddy is either. Olivia, y'all believe that bullshit if you want to. She ain't grow up with no daddy issues because she didn't have none. Um, And that's all you heard about. You didn't really hear about the mommy issues and the people who suffer from that. And Girl, is you on dope or dog food? I know you ain't sitting up here saying that. You ain't never heard about people having mommy issues. Uh, you didn't hear of that? Oh, you a motherfucking liar, baby. Because some of these hoes out here, <laughs> baby, they worse than a motherfucking men. And bitch, and you one of them. I definitely didn't know what that was because my mama was always right there. So it's like growing up and getting to know people. This is not like this is not recent that I've known people that I've gotten to know people like this. Like. My first boyfriend, my first real boyfriend, he had a fucked up relationship with his mom. Yes, he loved her. Yes, they were kind of close. But overall, him and his mom, like, were not like me and my mom. Is it me? Or is this bitch want somebody to think that her and Stella got their, uh, uh, Tina Knowles and Beyonce relationship? Oh, girl, bye. 
Girl, miss me with that bullshit. I, I, it's something deep rooted with between Stella and 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 Olivia. Olivia must be uh, fell and bumped her head, or uh, and Stella had to guide her through life, or she went through some shit, or somebody knows somebody that murdered somebody, or somebody holding something over somebody's head, or something. Because bitch, you need her joint to your hip because without her, you don't have it together. Without that Stella bitch. You don't have it together. Your mama only had two motherfucking kids. That's you and your sister. You never hear Olivia just talk about her sister and the relationship that they have and how she, oh, I'm finna fly to Florida and, and, and hang with my sister. Oh, I'm finna, me and my sister gonna do this and do that together. D have y'all ever seen that? Because I've never seen it. From my understanding, I never people say the sister be out here living her motherfucking best life without Olivia. Like, when I say my mom, you guys, here's here's the thing. I'm not talking about money. Like, when I talk about my mom always being there for me, I'm not talking about money. I'm not talking about uh, status or or what she, could, what she did for me physically or, I mean, she's done a lot for me physically, but, or financially, I should say. I'm talking about having that shoulder to cry on and having that mom like I can tell my mom anything and she doesn't judge me she doesn't she doesn't shit on me she's my biggest cheerleader and that is unconditional love you know what I mean um it's not always about what a parent can do for you financially as much as it is how much a parent is there for you you know, you can have a parent there all the time paying your way through life and not show you not one ounce of attention. You know what I mean? And you could leave out that relationship having issues with that person. But with my mom, she was there financially, physically, emotionally. She was there in every single which way. Girl, I don't feel like hearing all this shit. You you giving Stella no props because I don't give no fucks about her ass either because she's a motherfucking enabler and uh, I ain't got time because she ain't like she's scared to approach you and scared to tell you anything. I, it, it's something wrong with Stella. That's probably why y'all so joint at the hip because ain't no way in the hell. Mm -mm. Now one of my daughters finna uh, baby step to me like uh, how the shit that you do and get up on the internet and be lying and be all the shit that you be doing. Mm -mm, I wouldn't be here for that. And I definitely would be here for all that motherfucking hate you got in your heart for no Gerard and no motherfucking Nisha. I would not be here for that. I know the whole relationship wasn't perfectly, you know, planned, I mean, panned out or whatever you want, how you want to say it. It is what it is. It's been three years now. How long is it going to take for her to stop doing it and saying the shit that she be saying? That's why people don't like her. You know what I'm saying? You sitting over here, you a, you a whole Karen, but we going to be okay with you over here dissing this black woman. Nah, we ain't, we ain't with that shit. I know I'm not. I'm not, especially if she over here taking care of your seeds. And that's the thing she get from a bitch like you. Girl, bye. That's why she pays your motherfucking ass dust. And you sitting up here bragging on motherfucking Stella. What was still that bitch when they said you needed $400 to pay your motherfucking lawyer so you can keep custody of your fucking children? What was Stella at then? I, you know what? I'd be glad, I'd be glad when Stella leave and, and leave your ass there with your own responsibility. That's what I'm waiting to see. I can't wait to clock it. And I am so grateful for her. You guys don't even understand. And I don't understand. I don't want to understand because your mama is not perfect. Ain't nobody perfect. So, but I've met these people throughout my life who have mommy issues. Like I said, my first boyfriend, my second boyfriend. It's like a, a couple of my friends. Like, it was like, I just kept meeting people that had mommy issues. And I didn't really understand it. I didn't really put two and two together. I didn't really care to understand it. But... Olivia is talking about mommy issues like as if... That's the only parent that you have to have in your life. Sometimes people are fortunate to be raised in two-parent households. Everybody don't get that. So you sitting your ass up here talking about what you didn't understand when you meet someone that have issues with their mama. Girl, baby, 
I know so many motherfucking people have this issue. What have this be, dumb dodo bird bitch been? Don't don't we don't want to hear that bullshit about you don't you don't understand that you don't know uh what that's like and all this shit. But your kids are experiencing it. You might not have a bad relationship with your kids because they're kids, but them kids are gonna get older. And if you don't get your shit together and get those kids back in your custody, you're gonna go through the same shit. Your kids gonna be telling that story to somebody in life. My mom was cool and everything. We had fun when we went up to our house, even though we ain't do shit and we dressed raggedy than a motherfucker. And uh, all she did was sit on the internet and 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 talk shit uh, and brag on herself when she really didn't have nothing. And um. Yeah, we ex we met like that experience when we were with our dad and our stepmom. We was living our best life. Yeah, your kids gonna have a story to tell too, ma'am. Now going through the situation, and it seems like everybody who comes for me has mommy issues. And everybody that come for her have mommy issues. Oh, okay, so this is centered around the back and forth with her and uh, Key Plus Three. From my understanding, uh, Key Plus 3 was raised by the grandmother and the, um, I think the mother was on drugs. Don't quote me. I don't really, like I said, I don't know a lot about this, this lady. Uh, and I have, like, watched, like, TMR videos where TMR have tapped in on Key Plus 3 when she was having issues with her brother. Because I think there's a lot of, like, mental issues going on in that family. You know, Olivia, she got mental health issues, too. And see, she don't know how to deal with her shit. She just know how to get on the internet and say all the bullshit she want to say behind the scenes, but won't knuck if she buck in person. Yeah, that's what type of time she on, okay? So, stop trying to act like as if this girl came for you because she got mommy issues. That's not mommy issues. Her mama has a drug problem that she had before Key probably even was even thought of. So that's not a mommy issue. The grandmother stepped in and raised her because she wanted to, you know, shield her granddaughter from all the riffraff of a drug addict. See, if you knew this type of shit, you wouldn't even be up on this motherfucker addressing it. You'd have paid that shit no dust. But no, you got to address everything because you think you Billy Badass, Tough Tony in this bitch. And you're not. Some sort of way, it's like, it's eye-opening to see, like, I really feel bad for people. And not, like, in a way where I, like, pity them. Like, I feel bad because that hurts my heart. I don't care what anybody says about me as a mother. You can say whatever you can say I'm the worst mom in the world and I did this and I did that. And eels. It's not true. The facts are the facts. I know why my kids are not with me. I would hope other people know why. But if you don't know why because you don't want to listen to me or you don't want to hear what I have to say, you just want to believe the lies. This is why I can't deal with her. Girl... Everybody that watched this bullshit unfold over these few years of watching the whole relationship crash, all the shit you did, all the shit you said, then you say people don't know you and all they want to believe is lies. And bitch, and that's all you tell is lies. Oh, Lord, make this make sense. This girl right here, yeah, she need help. Then that's fine, too. Whatever you want to believe. But I know what type of mother I am, and I know why my kids are so, so close to me. And it's because I carried that with me, that unconditional love, you know, giving my kids the utmost love and respect and just being there for them emotionally. That is just as important, if not more important, than being there for them financially. Child support needs to be monitored. No, because whoever has the child more, they can use that money for whatever they need to use it on. They're not nickel and diamond how much they spend on the child. Child support only work when the nigga really got some real money. <laughs> you can turn the baby to a state baby, to a government baby, <laughs> like. You know what I mean? Because who they turn out to be depends on how you treat them, not what you buy for them, how you treat them. In my opinion, they can, can't survive without either one of them. 
So shut up trying to sugarcoat it for yourself because you know you don't financially take care of yours. That's just all that is. You you do anything and say anything to try to get away from the finance part of. So you trying to tell me having a child and raising them, you don't never need, ain't gonna never need no money to do anything for them when a child start off as a baby, needing baby formula, pampers, all this here shit. They gotta go to school. So the financial. The finances is it, it's got to go with you regardless. You cannot survive in this world without either one of those. And how you raise them, what you teach them. I so sway when you sit over there and you trying to turn your kids against Nisha. You you had your kids uh, calling that lady a maid. So what are you teaching your children? You're not teaching your kids shit. All you do is teach your kids that oh uh. I got a YouTube channel and, uh, you know, that's what pays my bills and I got to get on live and I got to have my camera because that's all they've been used to ever since they've been little. Ever since they've been some little bitty kids, that's all they know. And that's all you do. They're not used to um, a, a mom that goes out the house and work a nine to five or whatever. They used to you being up in the house looking a mess and being on a motherfucking live uh, stream video for, for the internet. That's all your kids know you to be. Whew, girl, and it just opened my eyes to a lot. It opened my eyes to a lot. And one of the things that opened my eyes to was my dad and I's relationship. And a lot of people don't know nothing about me and my father's relationship. So before people, <laughs> she don't, blah, blah, blah. You don't know your damn dad either, sis. And your kids don't know their grandpa. They ain't never met him a day in their damn life. People don't know this situation with your daddy because you don't know. Stella don't even know. Girls start running at the mouth. Hush and listen. Okay. Um, so what issues did you have when you come? Oh, hold on. Hold on. What issues did you have when you came for people for no reason? Exactly. Get on her ass. I was very unhappy with my life. At one point, when you guys first met me on this platform, I was very unhappy. I know that I had what looked like, I guess, the dream life. Because now people are like, always trying to rub it in my face. Oh, you don't have that man. Or you don't have that blah, 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 blah. Mm -mm. That's, why, that's why I say that vlogging your life shit is fake and, and phony as a motherfucking $3 bill. Because how the hell was you in the beginning of your social media career <laughs> that you have? That shit, you was unhappy. But... Uh, in the videos, it didn't seem that way. You was doing whatever you wanted to do, saying whatever you want to say, talking your shit, popping your shit with your rod. Make it make sense. Because I don't understand it. So, what you call this is shit you be uploading now? This fake, phony-ass bullshit right here? Or this the real you? Oh, okay. Mm -mm. I was very unhappy. When you guys were, and I, I put on that smile, baby, and I did it for my kids. I always did it for my kids. I you know the fuck what? I always remained happy, and I mean, I tried my best, but I was very unhappy because I was very mistreated, and I didn't tell nobody that. I didn't act on that. I mean, I acted on it. It was like between my ex and I, like I did petty things to hurt him because I was so hurt. But, like, y'all didn't even know what I was going through, what Liv was really going through. But I made the best of it. But that's why. I've said this before. That's why I know why people come for me for no reason, because they're truly unhappy. Because I've been there. I can speak on it because I've been there. I've been there. So I know. Girl, I'm so sick of your ass. Always trying to blame that man and saying he did this, that, and the other. I'm not going to say... That shit could have happened behind the scenes. But I'm going to tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to get up and portray no type of roles that I'm being mistreated. And I'm going to put on a motherfucking brave face and a clown face. Like, I'm happy hunk of door and motherfucker doing me like a dog. Bitch, I would have... Just like she kept moving from California to Florida to Texas. And bitch, and I would have been moving, 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 moving. And he wouldn't have been nowhere in no sight. So you just sat your ass up and just took shit off this motherfucker for no reason. Because I ain't seen nobody else trying to gather your ass up with no other nigga trying to fuck with you but him. But he gets all the backlash. And that's why you getting all the backlash and the shit that you getting now. How about you get your ass off this live and clean up that motherfucking room because that bitch is like a tornado and hit it. 
You're a fucking hoarder. It's too much shit in that motherfucking room. Get off your ass and put in some job applications. Betty, it, baby, get in that car and go d uh, dash some motherfucking food. That's what you can do. Instead of sitting your ass up on this motherfucking lie and lying, lying to the motherfucking people. Um. So yeah, being in a toxic relationship with a person who could give a f less about your feelings. It can lead you down such a bad path. Okay, such a horrible path. It can leave you... Olivia, the reason why you not gonna never grow and never get through this shit and get past this shit because you keep bringing it up. Why do you keep talking about the exact same shit over and over and over? That's because you're not over, but you love to try to blame people. You love to say that people are hurt people. That's why they come for you because they done been through... Shit that you'd have been through. Girl, bye. Dealing with it years later. Still having to deal with the same. Girl, you can't even deal with that child support payment. So what are you still dealing with? You not in a relationship with Gerard, so why are you still talking about him? Why? That's all I want to know is why is she still talking about this man? Shit. So, yeah. But, like I was saying. Going through what I'm going through. <laughs> um, it made me re reevaluate my relationship with my father. And let me just break it down for you guys right now because I feel like it. And I ain't got shit else to do. <laughs> yeah, we know you ain't got shit else to do. You ain't got no job. You ain't got shit to do. You don't clean up. <laughs> you don't cook. You don't do shit. So, yeah, you say that's, that's about the truest thing you can say it on this goddamn live. My dad has always been in my life. When have y'all seen Olivia with her daddy? Doing anything with her daddy? Even talking about her daddy? Here she go with another motherfucking lie. I cannot deal with her. Always. Constantly been in my life. My whole entire life. No, I haven't lived with him. But he's always been in my life. My dad is a certain type of way. You guys will meet him soon one day. Um, but he he has his ways. But to the core of him, he is the sweetest, most gentle, most one of the most amazing men that you'll ever meet. Because he has such a good heart. Bitch sitting up here bragging on a motherfucker she don't know nothing about. He got amazing, gentle heart. She, I noticed this about her. She'll brag on them baby daddies, them other baby daddies, but she'll dog Gerard ass out. But she'll big up the men. He's been in my life all my life. Your dad ain't been in your life all your life, Olivia. Stop fucking lying. If if Olivia daddy is all these things that she says she he is, why the hell she never presented him on her damn channel? She do everything else. Y'all gonna meet him one day. Watch. They ain't not gonna meet him. You gonna find somebody and pay them motherfuckers get on the motherfucking live with your ass. That's what you gonna do. Y'all gonna see. Girl, please. Your mama ain't shit. And your mom was trash back in her days and she uh, uh, had babies with motherfucking randoms too. But my dad has been through a lot and that's none of your business what my dad has been through. Shit, you don't even know him. So you don't even know what he been through. You just up here just saying shit to be a smart ass and it's none of your business. And who gives a damn? Don't nobody give a damn about that man, whoever the hell you talking about. So I'm not going to get into that, but it's made him the person that he is today. Like I was saying, you know, how you... How you treat a child growing up has a lot of effect on them when they get older. A lot. Remember that. Say that advice for yourself. That that you know you geared that towards you, right? Oh, okay. Okay. So anyway, due to our differences, he hasn't always been in my life. Not always, but he he has but he hasn't does that make sense like we would go through times not talking to each other just because i wouldn't want to talk to him because he would piss me off or whatever but getting older and going through this situation and seeing oh Liv, he wasn't the worst father that he wasn't the worst dad out there there's much worse you know what i mean she talking about gerard she she's trying to say gerard is the worst uh father on the planet but gerard over there living his best life got his own house car got a, a job that's taking care of his kids he got a fiance he doing his thug business 
She just don't like that shit because she living a millsway ass motherfucking life. Girl, that's what you need to just stop doing is trying to compare where you don't compete. And like, I really put things in perspective. I was like, okay, and my dad's getting older. And sometimes you just have to accept a person for who they are and love them no matter what, you know? And it's funny that you say that, but you don't love Gerard and just say, accept him for whatever the flaws was or whatever. You don't accept nothing that Gerard has done, uh, what he's doing currently. You you don't care, but but you sitting up here giving your daddy all his motherfucking flowers, but that motherfucker ain't been in your life. Girl, miss me with these. Recently, not too recently, but recently, within the last year or so, my dad and I have come back in contact and we're talking, we're closer than ever. It's so crazy because first of all, my parents are born a day apart from each other and my parents are just alike like think of my mom but in a man version that's my dad uh, he's the sweetest thing he's so nice he's so kind-hearted really for real And he just adores me. He adores me to death. Girl, your daddy don't, you don't even know who that motherfucker is. Your kids don't know who he is. Your kids don't ever ask you what pop pop at. None of that shit. This girl literally sitting up here lying through her fucking teeth about a goddamn man, and her mama being together. Uh, they, they birthdays are goddamn apart. Just, just say my mom's a, 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 a male version. Girl, what the fuck? Um, but I've been able to work out like my issues with him. Like being able to actually sit there and tell your parent like what they put you through and why you think certain things happened in your life and <laughs> oh girl <laughs> Kalani know your ass is lying cry Lonnie know you're lying <laughs> bitch choked on that <laughs> she choked on that motherfucking milk <laughs> bow head ass <laughs> Her bald head ass choking on that milk. You still on the motherfucking lies. Get out that pause that motherfucking take care of your kid, bitch. Bro, you okay? I know, mama. Yeah, they're both Capricorns, girl. They're they're born a day apart. All right, y'all. So. I'm, I was born by from two Capricorns, and they both, to me, they both act like cancers. Ooh, is that a burp? Hold on, let's get the towel. Let's get the towel, girl. Oh, thank you for the $5. I don't know who's going to get it. Yo ass, because you're a broke bitch. But thank you for that. Let me see what you said. I'll read your comment. Oh, I know that nasty little cough. That nasty little cough, baby. My baby got a nasty little cough. Um, you said that your mom was on drugs and your grandma raised you until you're teen. That bitch laughing, but she know it's true. <laughs> your mama's on crack. Your mama's on crack. I <laughs> was I raising those babies without you. Oh, okay. Your kids have mommy issues. No, my kids don't have mommy issues, you guys. <laughs> yes, they do. Hey, that bullshit for her mammy. Yes, they do. She just ain't gonna never admit that. And to be honest with y'all, if y'all just actually pay attention, 
Olivia really uses them kids for content. That's just all this shit is, is for. She had them other two babies for content and plus. And she wants the judge to be lenient on her ass with being pregnant and thinking that was going to keep her from paying child support. And you could tell them she'd be annoyed with them kids and probably hate that she had to go get them now. But uh, all this shit is just for the internet because Olivia ain't never been that in tune with the motherfucking children. Okay? Because it's been three years. What's the issue? What's your problem? Look, I know you guys say certain things and you think it's going to hurt my feelings. It doesn't hurt my feelings because you guys are not here with me and my kids. My kids are so attached to me and I will make sure with all of me that my kids have no type of mother issues at all because they know they're not with me right now. Not because I don't want them to be with me. They're not with me because of this bitter, horrible situation that we're all in right now, unfortunately. It hurts her feelings. That's why she addressing it. Because just like you can look over comments, when you see them flowing through the chat, you ain't got to answer all that shit. You answer what you want to answer. You answer that because you wanted to address that because your ass is bothered. So, it's not true. And I said that my mom was on drugs and I was raised by my grandma. <laughs> what <laughs> wrong person <laughs> like, i'm just joking how people follow somebody like her because who would actually open their fucking mouth and say that about their mama being on drugs and they was raised by their grandmother you 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 a grown-ass woman you can see a bitch in her early 20s playing like they were somebody girl you with five kids 30 something years old damn near 35 and this is how you play on the internet with people. And them, and they okay with it. Her subscribers, they okay with it. The Lord's game with it, the LA is. They okay with it. Um, mm -mm. can you pull the footage? I never said that a day in my life. I would never say my mother was on drugs. Uh, because my mom has never been on drugs. Um, my mom doesn't even drink. Okay. <laughs> She'll have a when she has a cocktail, honey. Oh my gosh. Okay. She shows she shows out because my mom never drinks. For the rest of my life, for real. Because you knew. <laughs> you knew. Um so I'm sorry. It's just more lies. But like I said, thank you for contributing to the channel. I don't know where that money's going, but thanks. Thank you. If you have any more questions, just let me know. Yeah, because that's not true. I wish she'd get rid of the fake-ass Kardashian accent, baby, because you really and truly do not talk like that. You just get on the internet and put on for the goddamn cameras. That voice is so fucking annoying. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. I'm just really happy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Any more questions or anything else you want to say? I think I blocked you. Is that why you're super chatting everything? <laughs> oh, baby. That person probably has mommy issues. Why does she think people that say shit to her in her chats and stuff have mommy issues? That person that, that was in her chat probably got a mom and dad. Mom and dad had probably been married for 30, 40, 50 years. She don't know that. She just know that just old aggravated ass bitch. Always got something smart to say because she don't like to be critiqued and she don't like nobody to say nothing to her. See, people only give back to Olivia what Olivia put out in the universe. Her attitude don't stink. She try to cap. She try to act Billy badass, but she really not. Y'all already know she's scary Sherry all motherfucking day long and then try to act so damn tough when she blocking somebody. Girl, how you blocking somebody is going to hurt somebody's feelings? Baby, they didn't say what they had to say, and you read it on the internet for everybody else to hear. Okay? I don't know why. That's another thing. With my whole situation, I don't know why people constantly want to shove that lady that my ex is with down my throat. Like, I don't have to accept her. I don't have to like her. I don't have to... I've never even had a conversation with her. That's how disrespectful that person is. Um... But I don't, I don't want to talk about her because I don't, I don't know the person and that's none, I don't care to know that person. It's just about my kids and I, you know, and sometimes their dad because he's a part of them. But that woman is not a part of anybody. She's just with my ex. But you guys constantly want to shove her down my throat. Like, 
Where did they do that at? It's funny she say that people like to shove that woman down her throat. Uh, that woman by the name of Nisha. No, they're not shoving her down uh, your throat. But it's mighty funny. You like to shove Gerard down our throat when you talking about him and dragging his ass for filth. And you ain't never had a conversation with her. You don't know nothing about her and you don't give a care about her. Yeah, I give a care about a bitch that's taking care of my motherfucking children. So you got the wrong mindset, bitch. That's just like a motherfucker ordering some food in the drive-thru and you get into it with the motherfucker that's taking your order. Motherfucker get your food, be the spit in your shit, rub your motherfucking patty all on the motherfucking flow and get it to your ass and you don't even know it. So now, it is a certain attitude that you need to zoom. We ain't saying you got to kiss that woman's ass. No, you don't. She with your ex. Like, she got your leftovers. No, she with your ex because he want to be with her ass as well. So make that plain and clear. You just mad because you lost out and Gerard actually bagged a whole black woman out here. And that's not to be racist or, or, or saying anything like against other female races or whatever else. It's not like that. It's just, it's this directly towards this bitch. Think it. If the roles were reversed and I was constantly trying to shove a man down my ex's throat, like, this is their dad now. Like, you guys sound bitter. You guys sound just as bitter as him. There she go. She telling them that they sound just as bitter as Gerard. Girl, if, if you you can't shove no no nigga in in Gerard's face, you can't post no nigga and and constantly uh, uh, talk about that. First of all, he is not even that type of dude. He is not even finna do that. He is not finna do that. Girl, like he can't get no other woman. That's what the way you used to treat him. You treated him like you was the best thing that ever happened to him, and he wasn't gonna never do better than you. And he upgraded and did better than your ass. Girl, please, stop calling him bitter. First of all, like I said, if you a changed woman and you got all this change, like you said in your title, uh, ch making changes or made changes, whatever the fuck it was, make some changes on that. And stop reading the motherfucking chats and what, what the motherfucking comments is saying. Because if, if you feel some type of way about them comments, you can always just overlook them motherfuckers. You know you want to say something because that's your recurring role is to talk about him anyway. So knock it off, okay? I don't care. My kids know who their mama is. I'm sorry the internet doesn't know, but no, you know. Mm -mm. Sorry, ass person to pay just to say something mean. That's what I'm saying. Can you imagine? It's like people have real mental issues. That's another thing she needs to stop doing. She needs to stop talking about people having real mental issues. If you don't know what the situation is or what these people got going on, girl, stop labeling somebody like that. Mental health issues is a serious ass motherfucking matter. That's why Hunger was reading your ass with Phil in her live chat. Because if you don't know, you like to try to throw stuff out there like you hurting somebody's feelings. But when somebody come back and retaliate on your ass and correct you or tell you, well, you be fucked off it, you get mad and try to be shady and try to be tough Tony, which we already know, uh, that's how you like to handle stuff. Girl, stop saying that shit. I'm telling you, I, I can't wait for somebody to just go up in this whole mouth. And I just want them to just beat the fuck out of her. Just beat the fuck out of her. She does deserve an ass -wing at this point. Um, and that's so immature. Like, I get it. You guys like my ex's girlfriend. Awesome. You guys want a cookie? You guys would like her if she was a bum on the street. You guys would say she was a better person than me. Like, it doesn't matter. My haters just hate me so much that they would put a literal molester, racist, crazy, uh, homeless, any type of person they would say is a better person than me. It doesn't even matter. A person in jail right now for robbing a bank and killing people, they'd be like, well, they're better than you and they're prettier than you. <laughs> and that's cool. <laughs> I understand. I mean, I don't understand because I've never been a hater, but like I... There she go, throwing out that hate word. Who hating on Olivia? Oh, by a show of hands. <laughs> Who hating on her? Olivia, you a hater. You hate your life. You hate Gerard. You hate Nisha. You hate them kids over there, even though you don't even like them motherfucking kids. 
Yeah, who the biggest hater? You. What do she have that you want? A <laughs> couple of clear kids. Couple of clear kids she, I mean, a couple of kids she lost. She ain't, I wouldn't even want that. <laughs> Bitch, you can have that. Girl, no the fuck she didn't say people are some damn haters. And y'all would choose the worst people under the planet over her. I yeah, I probably would because the thing about it is they in jail, they silent. We don't hear shit out of them. But you, we hear your mouth all the motherfucking time and you don't know how to shut up. And you laughing at everything because you think that shit funny. But we already know what type of broad you is. You know what I'm saying? You like to come out when it get dark. You even do the ass when it get dark because you don't want no motherfucking... Or, you know, somebody seeing your ass from the internet want to run up in your trap real, real quick. Yeah, you don't want them problems. That's why you come out in the dark or you only go to the grocery stores. That's why you scared to get a job because you don't want to run up on nobody. You don't want them to come up on your job and whoop your ass. That's what you scared of. Let's be honest. But, uh, baby, tired of patting in this girl back, tired of looking at her ugly ass face, tired of hearing her open up her motherfucking mouth. She the bitter bitch in the whole motherfucking game. Okay? Anywho, tired of talking about that bitch. Y'all go watch the rest of that shit. I'm tired. I'm done. All right? Because she runs my pressure up and I ain't got time. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.